Hey everyone, it's your boy Graphic back with another video. Today we're going to be looking over the top 5 beginner tips to progress faster. I know a lot of you guys are out there playing with your friends. You guys want to get ahead. You, it's just it's just how it works. You want to get a little bit of a head uh, start on your, your friends. You want to look good. Um, and I'm going to kind of go over the ways how you can get a head start. Uh, it might put you behind later on. Just be wary of that. If you're trying to gather and I'm telling you to get ahead and I'm telling you, you know, go out and, you know, fight enemies instead of gathering, obviously that's going to put you behind on the gathering. So just pay attention. Uh, that might not exactly apply to what I'm talking about here, but just pay attention to the tips and understand what it's doing to you and how it's putting you behind or forward and how it works and see if it's okay with you. Because honestly, the tips I'm going to give you were exactly the tips I used to advance faster doing ZVZs and have had a chance to go into a GVG now and you know I'm, I'm very uh, competitive in the game already in a way so um, if you're looking to advance very quickly uh, I'm gonna give you guys the five beginner steps here to look into and get your uh, Albion online career started uh, first we're gonna have use earned LP obviously this one's kind of an obvious one but we're gonna take a look at it real quick for you guys that don't know uh, you go to your destiny board by pressing the B um, you will have this right in the top right I only have 24 learning points but obviously I don't know most of you guys should probably know this by now um, but if you're just new like for beginners uh, you may not know so what I'm gonna show you guys right here is the artifact book combat specialist I am level 17 out of 100 in the spec uh, this is called spec by the way right here this top one the outside uh, and then this is called mastery uh, right here um, the mastery determines what tier you can wear by the way I don't know if you guys know that um, and then the spec just kind of gives you more power in that weapon uh, the more you leveled up so what I'm gonna say right here is I'm 17 out of 100 uh, I need four learning points to just complete this level without doing any more leveling I can use four learning points by pressing learn and then yes and it'll actually just unlock level 18 for me right then and there so learning points speed you up a lot and you're gonna get 20 free learning points every day by being a premium member premium member obviously being premium will also speed up your progress of becoming uh, you know into that mid game late game faster but it's not necessary as you can actually get 10 learning points per day by being a free-to-play player and just completing your daily bonus or your daily challenge so make sure you guys take advantage of that as that used to not be a thing you couldn't actually get any LP if you were a free to play player um, so make sure you guys take advantage of that and now we're gonna go to the understanding the tutorial um, this is tip number four and it's understanding the tutorial uh, very important um, when you guys are doing that tutorial in the beginning you're on the island um, you know you're walking around you're you're finding new stores um, you don't exactly know what it all does uh, you're you're walking around and you're trying to craft things you're trying to gather this is very important to your future um, you know you're the the speed of your future self when you're trying to do things and you know where everything's at you know how to do certain things and your your friends are all asking you you know how do I craft a t3 bow how do I craft a t5 whatever or how do I how do I get these cloth on how do I get this t2 cloth armor I don't I don't know how any of this works Understanding the tutorial is very, very important and will speed up your progress significantly. I want you guys to make sure you're taking advantage of the tutorial island and doing all the quests, understanding really what it's trying to get you to do. Uh, that'll honestly speed up you or your progress so much. Um, and obviously at the end of the tutorial, you'll get your three-day premium, which is, like I said, premium is very, very important to completely, uh, you know, speed up that progress altogether. So that's tip number four for you. And we're going to go into number three now. Uh, main one specific set of gear. I know this can be somewhat boring for some of you guys. So if it is boring for you, some of you, just skip this step. But if you guys want to main, um, you know, one specific set of gear, that's, that's completely fine. Um, you really can get away with maining one set of gear. So what I'm going to show you is my destiny board. So I started out, I thought, you know, I've been a bow uh, player myself in every MMORPG ever. So, you know, every game I've ever played, I've, I've tried to be a bow player. Even if it was, you know, Diablo 3 or whatever. I was always trying to be that bow player. So what I did to start out was I went with the Journeyman's Hunter at tier 3. Got the Journeyman's Bow. Then from there I got the bow fighter, uh, started leveling that up because I was running a adept's bow. And I actually went into a war bow because I was told that 
Um, the Warbow is great for PvP, and it is great for PvP uh, solo, and maybe even duo, but any high skill PvP Warbow is pretty useless. So I made the mistake of going into Warbow, and I learned that later on. But the main thing was, is the Warbow, it, it can still do work in random dungeons at low tiers, and you'll still be ahead of your friends if you just focus on one thing that you enjoy doing. So I focused on a bow, and I actually, you know, enjoyed myself a lot. I got it to, you know, spec 43 here, and my bow fighter's at 76, and that's that's pretty high for uh, being a new player when you're getting into the game. Um, just sticking to one build is what I'm, I'm going to tell you that will speed up your progress significantly. Obviously, if you're, you know, running three different builds, if I'm running dagger over here, I'm running bow fighter over here, I could have one of these at 100, 100 mastery right now. But because I went both ways, obviously it's split and neither one is maxed out. So obviously if you take the time to just focus on one gear, uh, one set of gear, like a bow, like I said, how I started, I went a bow and I actually went straight down the list. I went all leather because I didn't understand that you can mix and match uh, when I first started playing this game. So I have a bow fighter at 76. I have, you know, the letter hood fighter at 90. You can have them at different levels because you don't need to, you know, all equip all leather. You don't need to all equip all plate armor. So you need to mix and match. Find the abilities that look cool to you. So, you know, one ability you might find very, very cool is you go down here to boots and you see, oh, what's that? Hellion shoes. Uh, what's this mark of sacrifice do? You can look at, look at all the abilities. Just see what looks fun to you. Mark an enemy or ally. Become invisible to to players for two seconds after two seconds you dash the mark target and damage increases by 35 percent for four seconds that's a sweet ability that's a very fun ability so guess what i started leveling that so find out right away what looks fun to you it doesn't really matter what's meta what's not you just want to find what's fun to you first that's your first build that's the build you're going to be running with your friends that's the build you're going to be running with your guild run something that looks fun um and make sure it's something you can do in the long haul um like you're okay with grinding the same thing over and over because it's fun to you because if you don't, you're going to be stuck uh, switching over to a different gear set, you know, right when you're about hit, hitting that mid, you know, that mid uh, mid game content or that late game content. So that's my third suggestion to you guys that are trying to just level quickly and, you know, get on pace with your friends or maybe even get ahead of your friends. Um, the second one I have for you guys is, um, well, actually, you know what? I kind of went into it with the third one, but it was focus on your content. So... Uh, this kind of goes in a little bit with number three, but not specifically, uh, you know, not not 100% because focus on your content can mean anything. Um, what I mean by this specifically is whether you want to be a gatherer, crafter, farmer, or fighter, it's all the same. Make sure you focus on the skill you choose to main and go after it. If you are going to the fighter route, the fastest way to advance in this game is by leveling your gear in random dungeons. And after you hit tier four, don't make the slow mistake of trying to craft all your gear. Earn the silver by killing mobs or gathering, and then just sell the resources for silver. This is how you will buy your tier 4 through 8 gear in the beginning. This is the definitely fastest way. I made the mistake of trying to do crafting in the beginning. You can check my crafting ability, or my crafting skills. They're so, so low. Uh, my leather's up just a little bit because I just recently did this for fun. Um, but you'll notice that I don't have any of these other crafting anywhere they're not they're not i don't use them i just buy my gear from mobs i kill and people i kill so you know that's the, what i'm going to tell you is focus on your content so if you're trying to be a pvp -er, or you know you're trying to you know just raise your abilities um your your fighting abilities then go for that don't focus on gathering don't focus on crafting don't focus on farming don't focus on anything else Focus on what you're trying to get ahead in. You're not going to be able to get ahead in everything right away. If you're doing that, you're going to go to the balanced route, and that's going to take you a little bit of time. But that's okay if you if you enjoy that. But this is for the progression, the fast progression. So, you know, now we're back to number one. Uh, the number one spot is going to be have fun. This one's, you know, going to come off as a little bit of corny. But in all seriousness, if you're having fun, uh, you're going to play more. Um, playing more will ultimately be the fastest way of progressing. So if you're bored of one skill like skinning, make the switch to woodcutting, for example. I know once I thought I would be a fighter maining bows, uh, because like I said, I was a bow player in every other RPG, or every other MMO. And, you know, I switched over uh, just recently to Great Curse, and I, I, I was able to level that up so quickly because I understood, like, this is something I like doing. This is something that's fun to me, you know, stomping on people in Hellgates. I love Hellgates. So if that's a build that dominates in Hellgates, why would I not play that build? 
So, you know, that's something I would make sure you do uh, is just make sure you switch it up as soon as you start getting annoyed or bored with something because you're going to start playing less. You're going to start getting behind. Um, you're not going to keep that progression speed that you want in the beginning. So um, this is my five tips to uh, progress the fastest as a beginner. Um, and I really do hope you guys enjoy the content. And if, if you guys do, please leave a like and a comment. Make sure you hit that sub button as, you know, I, I do make videos every day on Albion. It takes a little bit of my time, but you know what? It, it makes it means a lot to me personally when I you know get to read all the comments of people that enjoyed the content and you know seeing all the numbers go up. Um, you know I'm I'm a stats guy. I love seeing the numbers go up. So when I see you guys, you guys like my content. Obviously, when I see the stats of a dislikes on a video go up, that doesn't help me any. But when I see that likes go up, you know it's just it means that you know you guys enjoyed that content. I'm gonna do more of that kind of content. Um, and it just, you know, keeps me at it, you know, keeps me at that one video a day that I've been doing for a while now. So thanks again for uh, tuning in today for this video, and I'll see you guys next time.